How's it going guys? My name is Dom and today I'm going to be showing you how easy it is to write text on the HTML5 canvas using JavaScript. Now, the process of writing text is a two-step process. First thing to do is going to be to set the color and the second thing is going to be to actually write your text at a specified location. So, right here I've got this index HTML with a linked up JavaScript file and an existing canvas. So, I assume you guys have a similar setup where you have a part for JavaScript and an existing canvas. Now, this canvas has an ID of canvas and a width and height as well as a border and in the browser, it looks something like this. So how do we write text onto this canvas here? Well, going inside the main.js file here, I'm simply getting the canvas by ID. Now, I'm also using JS doc right up here. Let me show you how this works. If I do uh, forward slash asterisk asterisk, then press enter, I can now access JS doc. I can say type, HTML canvas elements and now using capital C and capital E for this uh, you know uh, name here VS Code now knows that this canvas is an HTML canvas element which means if I was to say const ctx or context equal to I can now say canvas dot and I've got access to the get context autocomplete I can now pass through 2d and the most important part of this right here is I can now say ctx dot and we've got access to all of these methods. So just a handy tip there for uh, setting up your type with JS doc. Now we have the context. How do we go about drawing some text? Well, let's have a look firstly at a simple form of text rendering. I'll say here, simple form of text rendering and dropping down here, we can now define the color or the fill style. So we'll say ctx.fill style equal to, I'm gonna use the decode green here. Okay, because this example is gonna be writing our text by filling it. So we're gonna be using the fill text method. This right here is the color and this right here, ctx.fill text is going to be what actually writes that text. We'll say hello decode just like that. Then the X and Y position of where to draw that text. I'll make it something like 100 and then 150 and this is the bare minimum what we need to draw some text to find the color and fill that text. I'll save this, go back in the browser, refresh, and we get this right here. Now, it's going to look a little bit blurry because I'm zooming in, but on your screen, it should be uh, crystal clear. So that is the basic form of rendering text, okay? The important thing to realize here is that this is one technique using fill text. We're going to have a look shortly at a method called stroke text, which basically writes you text using an outline. But before doing that, I wanna show you how to customize your font. So I'll drop down here, I'll say context uh, dot font is equal to, and now this property works much like the CSS font property. So if you know that one, you're gonna know this one. We can do things like bold, uh, you know, 24 pixels and then sans serif, something like that. I'll save it, go back in the browser, refresh, and we get that bold text, it's larger, and it's now sans serif, if it wasn't already previously, okay? So that is your font property. Like I said, it works much like the CSS font property, okay? Before looking at the stroke text method, I wanna quickly explain uh, this fill style in a bit more detail. So this fill style is also used for when you use fill rects. So to create a rectangle on your canvas. So make sure that you're setting this above and then you know, if you find that your rectangles are all of a sudden the same color as the text, that's gonna be why you need to of course reset the fill style or set it every time you render some text. Okay, let's hop down to stroke text or in other words, an outline. Okay, 
I'm gonna copy the same code as above, but simply replace the fill style to be the uh, stroke style. And I can make this something like red instead because these styles also support simple names for the colors and make this a CTX stroke text instead. I'll save this, I'll uh, put it somewhere else. Actually, let's just save this real quick. I'll go back in the browser, refresh, we get that red outline across that text. The reason why it's across the text is because we've made it the exact same X and Y position. If I move this down a bit, so 200 and then 350 for example, I'll save it, go back, refresh, it's gonna move somewhere else. So that is your stroke text or your outline text. Now. The last thing to cover in today's video is going to be how to center text vertically and horizontally on the canvas. So this is done by, well, I guess I'm going to show you now. So we can drop down here and we'll just say drawing text in the center of the canvas. So to do this, I'm going to simply uh, use the same code that we used for the fill text, just like this. I'll make the fill style a blue and make it a little bit larger just so we can see it a little bit better. Now, in terms of filling the text in the center, the first step is going to be to set the position in the middle. We're going to do this by saying canvas dot width divided by two. If your canvas width is 500, it's going to be 250 here, which is about in the center of the canvas. Same goes for the height or the Y position. This time using canvas dot height divided by two. I'll save this, go back in the browser and we get on a refresh this right here. Now the problem is, the X and Y position that you pass in is going to be the top left corner of the first character. So the top left of the H is centered, but everything else is on the right side. So we're almost there. We need to change something called the text align. So before rendering the text, we'll say context dot text align equal to center. This is going to center essentially the pivot point of the drawing refresh and now it's centered so right here somewhere okay now it's centered horizontally but not vertically to center it vertically very similar situation this one's now going to be called text baseline instead so having text align and text baseline set to center and middle respectively is going to give us that perfectly centered text. I'll save this, go back in the browser, refresh, and we get this right here. So that is how to draw text on the HTML5 canvas using JavaScript. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to drop a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.